So I tied up a bunch of bright flies last night. There we go. And these here, including these here deceiver flies. And uh, really bright. Had to get away through bunker. And uh, just kind of envision uh, striped bass fly fishing to be like this on these flies. And waited for the moon to come through. And now we're just having fun. Fly fishing for striped bass tonight, today. Ooh, one just popped over there. I think we might have some good solid, solid fishing now. It's a little bigger than the ones I had in the day. This. See the sun setting now down the beach. So I'm gonna work through with a yellow chartreuse, orange bellied uh, deceiver fly right now. Uh, I, may, I tied these up last night. Um, actually, I didn't anticipate all these bunker, but I'm glad I put them in these colors because we're gonna have to get some attention. There's just tons of bunker out, um, and they're happy, and there's nothing, nothing hitting them. You know, so uh, probably gonna have to wait for that sun to set or something to find them. You just don't know. So, all these is just utterly miles and miles of bunker um, straight out. You can see that was that something out there chasing them. See that big splashing? That's probably a bass. Could be a blue. Um, I've had them till December. There's just so many out there. Uh, we're going to have to get some attention. I'm going to get started here. Um, and we'll talk about, uh, going to be doing, you know, the fly fishing, of course. So let me tie up. Ooh, something big jumped out there. That could be a whale. All these bunkers, there's no telling. So the sun will be setting soon. So I'm hoping at dusk or at night, those bass will be right in on the lip. The water's got a nice motion to it. Well, we got something going on. What is that? Oh, my God. it's a little striper. Awesome. All right, so maybe we got some action. Those bunkers are still here, but they have passed through. And uh, we got ourselves a little striper on the surf. Utterly perfect day for to do some some fly fishing. Maybe there'll be more. Like I said, I am. I'm working with loud, loud co covers. And there are tons of bunker, and I'm trying to get away from those bunker to get a few bass on the fly. Go ahead, bud. All right. And uh, right now I'm working. This is a 2-0 deceiver. Um, maybe like five inches long and a hot orange belly chartreuse uh, mylar body and uh, working with loud colors today at least right now I could change up but, uh, whoa see. it looks a little a little better. That's all right. This is just a great, fun way to catch them. Just a perfect day on the surf to do uh, some fly fishing. And uh, you rarely get these days where all the stars and stuff line up. And this is just my favorite way to get these here stripers. It's just fly fishing on the surf, surf fishing. Fly surf fishing for striped bass. Ooh. And uh, wow, even the little guys start thrilling. So I'm gonna round up my line and see if we get another. And straighten out, you know, get the fly in order. I'm really glad I tied these really bright colors last night. So, so I'm just getting started and uh, 
I'm working a little further out and close in. I just want to see how these fish are laid out. So I got a little bit of line out. And what I'll do is I'm going to hit on the outside first. Because you always got to work it through the end, the inside. And uh, I'll see what I'm going to see how they're laid out. You can start out in and out. But usually they're close in, but it is sunny out. But we'll see. It's always nice to get a couple of fish. But this is just. Cannot complain. This is just tying these here flies for the striped bass last night. This is exactly what I had in mind. And sometimes the stars, like I said, just line up with the fishing and the moon. So, come on. Ooh. Just good stuff, really. Don't want to do that with a, a five pound fish. Oh, slow down. Oh, he's got it. There we go. You don't want to, um... And uh, that's the fly of the day. I think the wind is blowing northwest right now. It's supposed to swing around northeast. And these are really good winds to do your fly fishing on. Because um, you got that slight crosswind. So you really can work your line. Um, northeast is just supreme on the south shore of Long Island. Uh, just for the advantage of your cast. Um, if you're a righty like me. If you're, if, if you're casting with your right on your right side, that northeast wind is really going to be advantageous. Those bunker is still out there. Oh. He was bit out there. So I'm getting, whoa! That's a shad. Whoa. He came up about three feet. Pretty sure that's a shad. Let's see, is that a bass jumping like that? I can't believe that. I mean, those stripers jump, but he was three feet up. Yeah, that's a big shad. Wow. That's a jumbo shad. Wow, that's a big shad. Look at that shad. Dude, once I seen him jump up. Wow. Get out the 5 0 hooks. That is a big shad. So I'm using a, this is a nine weight outfit. Uh, I'm using the float in line today. It's just, uh, the conditions are just perfect for it. Um, you can may as well do sink in line if you like. Um, I just like the control the float in line has, cast and presentation. If I can use it, I will. But it's a nine weight uh, line, a floating line. Very aggressive taper, well, probably about 12 foot leader. And uh, nine weight rod and reel setup, really light. Um, definitely if the water was big, rough, churny, I may probably go to a sinking line. But something like this, this is just just uh, perfect for the, this setup. So. All right, I think we got him. Now, got him that time. This is a bass. They're definitely not super thick, but uh, definitely enough to keep the fishing going. Oh. Let's get over here. Just don't want to get that line out of my basket. Put your thumbs in their mouths. You, uh, ooh, what did he do? There we go. 
that's what I was saying before. You don't want to, uh, when they have the, yeah, you don't want them to eat your feather. And that's just a uh, fly I've been working with today. And the leader, oh, I probably have, oh, five to six feet of 50 to four to five feet of 30 pound to a loop knot. And I'm down to about two feet of 15 pound. Monofilament plane, nothing special. Kind of like the take with the floating line. It's, a little different than when you were you if you were using a sinking your flies riding higher sometimes close to the bottom sometimes high up but when they ride high up the fish will come up for that fly and they they'll go right back down so often with the floating line i have noticed you get a lot of solid hookups um because that fish is kind of coming down on that fly and you're using he, he's taking the slack right out when he grabs that fly and he brings it right down and bam, he's on. With the sinking line sometimes it's meandering on the same level as the fish. So they might, they might snap it and sit there, not go down or up and y you, you have to pay more attention. Wow. What's that? Wow! That's a little bigger fish. I like to hand line them and But my theory is, if I'm handlining them like him, if they take it, they're gonna take it. So I'll give it to them, like we just did. Uh, it's a little bigger. I don't think he's anything tremendous, but maybe he is. Be about a three, four pound fish. I'm getting them close in now. Wow. Maybe he's a giant shad. Oh, getting them close. Now I don't have to worry about that mess in my basket. I like to use the basket and the surf because um, your line's going to be around your legs often. Not all the time, but probably could get away. Wow, that's a nicer fish. Get him in. I'm gonna walk him up. I don't want to lose him now after all that. There we go. Wow. That's the big one of the day for sure. Oh, he just ate that fly too. in there but we'll get it just got to get the right angle There we go. And what I'll do is I'll clip it. Here. 
back in the drink of water. Okay, he's good. He swam off all part of fishing. And uh, I like to fish at spots, not area spots, it's a different concept. Um, where there's, I think, a, a solid sweep coming from one direction. Wherever you fish, I want to find an area where that sweep goes the other way. And almost like those two currents are fighting each other. And you can find them all along the beaches. It's You just watch what your line does. You watch what the water does. And I like to set up and fish those kind of spots. But I like to fish areas that hold a lot of those kind of spots. So, if you know the difference between area and spot, you can really maximize your fishing. Well, definitely picked up a little. That's just my second cast in. And there's the moon, like I said, when it goes from there to there. Wow, he's digging in good. See a little, a little, could be a shad, you know? That's a striped bass. So we'll just fly fishing for striped bass today. Like I said, this time of year in Long Island, it's just perfect day for it. I mean, that's where you get your experience and you can gauge your days and really make the most of your season you kind of start know when to fish your baits Ooh, that's a nicer one know when to fish your baits uh know when to fish your lures you know when to get it over to my right hand when to fish your flies and hit the front the back and uh Really exciting way to fish. You get really all the bang for your buck. Um, and I'm just uh, surf fishing uh, striped bass today and a uh, few hours. It's just perfect day for it. Um, working to seaver flies. Nine weight outfit, just don't know what's out there. Probably could use a five weight, you'd be fine today. But uh, if you want to throw something bigger, that's why I like the nine weight overall. Whoa. That's a nice fish. He's bigger than that last guy for sure. This is what I want to see. He, re he really slammed that too. Maybe two, three pounds of drag. If he wants to take it, we'll give it to him. Uh, we'll follow him wherever he wants to go. Maybe I'll give a little more drag. Playing that current too at the same time. I really want to see what he looks like. Definitely felt bigger than that last fish. You gotta be a 
three, four pounder, easy. Here he comes now. Don't want to lose him now. He's taking a few last runs. Sun setting. Wow. That's a nice fish. Maybe we'll get him on this wave. That's a keeper. That could be. That's, that's a nice fish. He's right up there. Get a measure on him. Woo! Wow, he's a fat fish. That's a beauty. Yeah, he's all of that. Wow. See how big he is. 16, 24. Yeah, he's definitely a keeper. here and see what he did here. He got a big mouth on him. Beautiful striped bass. A great way to end the day. Perfect. Right on the roof. Grab that bright deceiver. Real nice fish. Let's get a photo. The fly in there. Sorry guys, we'll get some oxygen in him. My basket's falling off. I gotta tighten it. Real good stuff. Alright, I got my pitcher, so we're going to get him on his way. The sun is gone now. We'll get him a little extra water since he was busy working on a photo shoot with us. And it was a serious play. That's more than four or five pounds, I can tell you that. Go ahead. That's good. They kind of bite down on your thumb and you know you're good. I really had a grand day. Um, sun set now. Um, gonna start walking back, but uh, the moon lined up. It's planets, stars, and so did the striped bass. So just surf, fly surf fishing for striped bass today. Really rewarding day, interesting day. Got away from the bunker, got into smaller bass, and then the bass came up in size. <coughs> um, really good stuff. Maybe those bigger fish are playing cleanup. So I'm gonna try fishing tonight. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon, night, day, evening, uh, wherever you are. And uh, remember always, fish your way. Wow, wow. He was just right up front. I didn't think I was going to have time to get rolling here. But there seems to be a few more out now with that sun setting. Let's get him through. Wow. The Long Island sunset. Strikers. Well, we could go to a Maybe a smaller fly, but I'm quite happy. Wow. And they're still biting. Oh, great afternoon. Late afternoon. -ish. I heard them flop and I came running over. Wow, they're flashing in the circle thing. So I'm gonna get him in. And I'm gonna start getting getting going. I gotta change my battery anyway, and uh, maybe we'll do some night fishing. Something fun. Wow, that's a nice fish. They are getting bigger. 
Wow. He must have been just tired. Get him. Open his mouth. There we go. Wow, that's a nice fish. About 26, I think. 25. Oh, that's what I was trying to avoid.